I didn't see my son for one month and seven, no, one year and seven months. Last time I saw my son was, um, all right. Last time was December, 2019. I think he, he came in December and he left before Christmas. If I remember well, I'm not sure. Or maybe not. I don't know. Or maybe he spent Christmas with us and then he went to Angola. Then he was supposed to come back in, uh, in, in March or April. And then borders closed. Every border closed. Um, he could neither go to Angola, from Angola, since he, was, he's, he lives in Rwanda. He could not go to Congo, could not go to Portugal. Stuck there. And then he was supposed to come after that in October. In October, he got COVID. So he was then stuck home with his mom who had COVID as well. Luckily, they had no symptoms. So we had to push the trip uh, a little bit. And then he was supposed to come for, uh, for, for December for Christmas 2020. So at that point, it was a, a year without seeing him. And like two days before his trip, they sent me a message that telling me that there's no plane going from and to Angola on top, which is the Portuguese uh, uh, air company. And they just gave me a voucher for his ticket. And that's it. I was like, ah. So was it before or after I had COVID? Because I'm like everything is now a little I don't even remember the whole timeline, but yeah. So then after that, uh we tried to make him come before, probably around March or April. But the tickets the ticket price were just amazing. Amazing of abuse. Uh, these plane companies are trying to just make their money back by doing uh, super expensive tickets uh, and not enough flights. So that's abuse, but hey. Uh, and uh, we end up, we ended up buying him a ticket for for the summer, uh, hoping that things wouldn't close before the beginning of the summer. And uh, this morning at 8 a.m., he finally landed. So imagine that last time I saw my son, he was 16. It was in December. In January, he turned 17. Then fast forward to another year, he turned 18. I still could not be there because of the state of the world. So, and... Uh, yeah, listen, it's, um, it's great to see him. He's, he's, he changed. He looks more and more like a man. Uh, you know, you, you can see his face turn like like a guy. And, um, and uh, so it's, it's amazing, like, you know. And uh, listen, we went to, uh, to do a, a ride on scooters this morning. We went to the shopping center, buy him a... Uh, sim card with a limited internet so uh so he's fine out here uh we went to my daughter was super happy to see him this morning she actually was so excited that she didn't really sleep she woke up before me and uh when she woke up uh when we when we we came back when like when the, the door was open and she came like she just run to him and she just grab him and grab him and stay like this. Last time she saw him, she was, uh, I think she, yeah, she was two years old. Last time she saw him, if I, she just got, she just turned four. Yeah, either she was three already or, or not. 
nah, whatever. Anyway, and uh, so yeah, listen, she was so happy to be with her brother. Uh, so uh, and tonight we went to to get uh, some hamburgers, just you know, just for him to to know the new the new restaurants in the zone. And uh, she starts crying. She's like, ah, I don't want you guys to go. I don't want you to, you, you guys to go without me. Da, 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 da. I want to come. So yeah, we took we took her. And uh, you know, it's 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 it, it's a special feeling when uh, you. I mean, I'm not shocked that I have two kids, but it's been so long that I didn't have my two kids at the same time and uh, that I was just walking in the streets with my kids uh, it just had a special feeling for me because uh, you know when you work as much as I work you don't really uh, realize uh, the time that is going by and, and we don't have a choice in, anyway so I could not see could not see my son for all this time and uh can imagine how it is for him as well you know so yeah you know it was it was it was amazing to see each other even if like you know we used to being apart because he's been like this forever but i never spent more than maybe on tour maybe a month and a half maximum or two months three but never more than three months so a whole year and seven months that was special like this whole like this whole this whole moment that we are all going through uh, even the people who believe that they were fine it actually hits you in ways that you don't really realize because families are apart people don't see their parents uh, people get sick and you know kept saying I don't I don't anymore since I I came to grips with uh, the idea of of uh, having had mental health issues, and I'm fine now. I breathe, I breathe very well. All this is is behind me, but it's because I I accepted the thing that yeah, listen, like all this, like I could have it could have been over. They could have been all alone, and and, and now that. We are all together and my family as a whole, you know, today my, my wife cooked some some of her amazing rice that goes here. That, you see this? That's her. And and uh, I was just we in the, near the kitchen table and uh, he was here, I was here, she was here. Princess Asia was here and we were just having a family lunch and that simple thing felt amazing because uh, for long after a long 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 time we are whole and uh, so he told me ah tonight I'm coming to the live I'm like yeah right. no I will just come and come in the back and say yo so I was like yeah no problem so before I go take my shower around uh, 11 something I pass in his room to tell him hey I'll be live in around 40 minutes so once I dress you know if you want to come pass by still and I, I, I enter his room he was like this with his phone out. <laughs>